Remember to trust yourself and believe in the process. The tortoise won the race, not the rabbit. I have that quote as a screenshot on my phone because I have to remind myself that whenever I want to achieve something, it's never going to happen overnight. Anything that's that's real, right? Anything that you want to achieve and you want it to be legit, right? You want it to be real. It's never going to happen overnight. That goes with relationships, right? Anything that comes fast, it's never going to last, right? That comes to gaining muscles. You go to the gym. You can't go to the gym for a month and think you're going to look like The Rock, right? That takes years. So, some of you guys know my story, right? As a witness. And this is what this is what helped woke me up, right? But um, a few years ago, I was the fellowship. I was falsely to fellowship by some elders, right? Well, one elder in particular, one elder in particular had it for me. He had it out for me, right? Um, the Kobe of the congregation, he had it out for me. And I had my judicial with them after being inactive for quite some time. And I realized that this Kobe, when I had the judicial, his intent was to the fellowship me. He wasn't, I went to these elders for help, right? And this elder, the Kobe of the congregation, his intent was to, was to the fellowship me, right? And they falsely the fellowship me because my heart was pure when I went to them. I changed from my ways. I was living like a witness, right? But this elder had it out for me. And when they made that announcement that I was the fellowship, that was one of the worst nights of my life. Well, at that time it was, right? Now, now that I'm wide awake and I realized that that had to happen for me to wake up, right? But at that particular time, when these when those elders got away with the fellowship me, and I said to myself, I said, hold on, I'm repenting. How did I get the fellowship when I'm repenting? I was so furious. I was so pissed off, right? And one reason why I was pissed off is because I miss, because these men, because they decided to, to the fellowship me, I end up missing the birth of my one and only niece. I missed the birth of my niece. I couldn't be there for that Kodak moment that I can never, ever get back, right? I can never get back that moment of being there for my niece when she was born. Because three men, because three men decided to abuse their power, right? And to falsely the fellowship. So I was so furious, so pissed off, right? I wanted to go back to that congregation in New York. I wanted to beat the holy shit out of the elder, right? I wanted to beat his ass. But I said to myself, me being the fellowship at that time, right? If I were to do that, if I were to walk up to that kingdom horn and pounce on this elder, beat the shit out of him, I would have never got reinstated. And I would have let my emotions get the best of me for nothing, right? For nothing. Because in the end, if I did that, that Kobe, that elder would have won. So even though I was the fellowship for two long years, right? I said to myself, listen, I just got to swallow my pride. And thank God I was able to wake up in those two years. I was able to do my research. I was able to wake up, realize I was in a cult, right? But I had to swallow my pride for two long years, 24 long months, right? And once they reinstated me, then I was able to come out on top because I was able to let the entire world know and it let the entire Jehovah Witness community know that these men have no Holy Spirit, right? But I had to swallow my pride. I had to wait two years for me to get to that point, right? And trust me, there were, there were times where I wanted to just let loose, go back to that congregation in New York and pounce on that elder, like I said, beat the shadow of him because, because of him. I missed out on the birth of my one and only niece. That is a Kodak moment I can never, ever get back. Never. 
So, it was a slow burn in the end that made me victorious, that made me come out on top. Like I said in the beginning, anything that you want to achieve in life, right? Anything, anything that you want to excel, right? It, it, you can't rush it. You can't, you can't think based on emotions. You got to think logically. You got to think rationally, right? So because I swallowed my pride, I let two years go. I got reinstated and I let them know. I let the whole Jehovah's Witness community know that they reinstated an apostate. That six elders and two different congregations reinstated me. But it was that slow burn. That slow burn, right? I had to wait patiently. Slow and steady. And when I got reinstated, I turned around and said, hey, you guys reinstated apostate. I told everybody about that shit, right? But it was a slow burn that got me there. Because if I went based off emotions, it would have been ugly. And I would have never been able to make that point because I would have never got reinstated. If I, if, I, if I went there based off emotions and pounded on that elder, even though he deserved an ass whipping, he deserves an ass whipping, right? But I said, you know what? Let me swallow my pride and let it be, right? And I still won. I, I, I won because I had to beat them at their own game. You don't win. You don't win. You don't win by uh, beating up people physically, right? You win them. You prove your point by beating them at their own game. So these elders claim that they have Holy Spirit and. I, I was able to show the uh, Jehovah's Witness community that they don't. Because they're reinstated and apostate. Right? But, like I said, slow and steady wins the race. The rabbit might be faster, but the tortoise. The turtle won in the end. He won the, the race in the end, right? Now, what these governing body leaders just did, when they made that announcement recently, that was the worst thing that they could have done. That was the worst. They shot themselves in the foot big time by doing it. Because all they've done was planted seeds planted doubts in these fully indoctrinated witnesses. Now, I'm not saying every Jehovah's Witness is going to uh, wake up. I'm not saying that, right? Because there's a lot of unintelligent witnesses that literally they believe everything that comes out these men's mouth, right? But I'm talking about the witnesses with common sense. I'm talking about the ones that, even though they're, they're indoctrinated, when they see red flags, they know when to wake up. Or, and they know when to start asking questions, right? They know when to start having doubts. I'm talking about those Jehovah's Witnesses, right? Because you could be indoctrinated, but still have common sense. So this new light that the governing body leaders just came out with, they planted a lot of seeds in these witnesses. A lot of seeds. And it's going to be a matter of time, whether it's several months or a year or so, right? Because a lot of witnesses, they're born in. So I'm not saying, oh, they, they see red flags and this, this this doesn't make sense. So they're going to wake up tomorrow. I'm not saying that. No. If you're, if you're a born in witness and you start to have doubts, it could take several months or even a year before you fully wake up, right? But the fact that these governing body leaders, the fact that they planted doubts and they're starting to plant doubts in these witnesses, witnesses are now going to start doing their research. That's the slow burn right there. Because when they start doing their research, they're going to slowly start to wake up. And before you know it, they are going to be out of the organization once and for all. Once and for all, right? But it's going to take some time. Because when you have, when, you, when you're in, when this stuff is ingrained in you since birth, right? Just like with me. Born and raised, right? It was ingrained since birth. And when I started to do my research, 
I gradually woke up, right? I didn't wake up. Even when I started to watch, my, watch the YouTube videos, I did my research, uh, Jeffrey Jackson lying. Even when I saw that initially, I didn't wake up right away, right? Because remember, this stuff was ingrained in birth, since birth. Since birth, right? But little by little, I've allowed myself to wake up. Because I put facts over indoctrination. Yeah, I was indoctrinated, right? I was brainwashed. But once I saw facts, that slowly woke me up. Facts will always, always win. Facts will always overpower the indoctrination, right? When something is clearly right in front of your face, you're bound to wake up. You're bound to wake up, right? But it's that slow burn. The slow burn is the seeds planted. It's the doubts planted, right? And it's you doing your research and slowly but surely waking up and realizing that you was born and raised in a cult, right? You will slowly wake up in due time, right? In due time. But these governing body leaders, what they just did, I, I'm still trying to fathom. I, I know why. I think I have an idea why, right? You know, because they, they, feel, they realize that they're losing a lot of members and they're trying to, you know, come down, take it, you know, take it down a notch, right? Because people are leaving. But um, that was detrimental. What they just did, that announcement was um, they planted a lot of seeds plant a lot of seeds and the irony is that a lot of us apostates you know we spoke to our, our, our family we spoke to uh Jehovah's witnesses we, we told them hey listen this is not the truth because x y and z right we, we came to them and we told them that this is not the truth they decided to shun us right and now look look what's going on now they decided to shun us because they said, oh, you're lying. You're apostate. You're lying. And now their own leaders have pulled an okie dokie on them, right? Their own leaders have turned things around and said, oh, time is no longer needed. Reporting time is no longer needed. Oh, you could come in to the organization at the last minute. Their leaders have pulled a switcheroo. Now, if, they, if, if we were to tell them that, hey, there's going to be new light. If two weeks ago. Or a month ago, we told uh, our, our Jehovah's Witness family and friends that there's going to be new light soon. Things are going to change and this not going to make any sense. Our family and friends would have been like, oh, you're an apostate. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. You're mentally diseased. We're looking pretty sane right now, right? Apostates are looking pretty sane because we've been speaking about new light and these leaders not making any sense. Flippity flop. We've been saying this for the longest. And now it, it it's literally came out their own leader's mouth. It came out their mouth. And it's pretty obvious right now that their leaders don't know what the hell they're talking about, right? So apostates, for us being mentally diseased, we're sounding pretty sane right now, right about now. And you know what? I want the governing body leaders to talk. The more they talk, the more doubts they are planting in people's heads, right? They're planting, they're planting doubts, seeds of doubts. The more they talk, you take it back to Stephen Lent, babies off it, enemies of God, right? Tony Morris, blowing out a, a, a match. Apostates are going to be gone. They're going to be done away with soon, right? And then recently, this new light bullshit, the more the governing body leaders talk, I want them to talk. The more they talk, the more people see them for who they truly are. And people see that they are not speaking for God. They are speaking for themselves, right? The more they have this new light bullshit, the overlapping generations, all these doctrines, these new doctrines, the more they talk, the more people see them for who they truly are. So I'm loving this. I'm loving this. And the more they talk, like I said, they are planting seeds. They are planting doubts. They appear to be further away from God than anything else. 
So let them talk. Let them talk. This is now, this phase, after they made this announcement of this new light, right? This phase is called the slow burn for Jehovah's Witnesses. This is the slow burn. Because this is slowly, they, slowly but surely, they're going to realize that these men are not God's spokesmen, and this is not the organization. This is not God's organization. This is just a organization, a man-made organization, right? But this is not God's organization. So this is a slow burn when this is going to hit Jehovah's Witnesses hard. It's going to hit them hard, and it's going to help them to wake up all these doubts that they're having, right? They're going to start to do their research online, and they are surely... Slowly but surely going to wake up. Like I said, it's not going to be an overnight process. If you're born and raised, you're not going to wake up like that, right? It's going to take several months. It may take a year or so, right? But I promise you, Jehovah's Witnesses are now going to start having doubts. That, that Those doubts are going to lead them to do their research. Once they do their research, they are sure, slowly but surely going to wake up. It's just a matter of time. But this chapter right now since they since those governing body leaders made that announcement this chapter this phase right now that we're in is called the slow burn because i promise you Jehovah's witnesses the intelligent ones i'm talking about the ones that that have common sense the ones that see the red flags right the ones that know that something is not right i'm talking about those Jehovah's witnesses they are slowly but surely are going to do their research and they're going to wake up. So let the slow burn happen. Let it happen. Because long term, right? Long term. Several months or a year or two from now. Long term. The goal is for them to wake up, right? We, us apostates, we want them to wake up. So long term, they will be waking up. The governing body leaders, they shot themselves in the foot by making that announcement. But I'm happy because the slow burn is going to wake them up in the long term. People are going to start to do their research. And little by little, witnesses will leave the organization. I'll see you guys on the next video.